Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as this upcoming working week is going to be pretty cold for many. However, as we head towards Friday, Saturday, it should start to turn a little bit milder with this northerly flow getting cut off and eventually some warmer air moving in. So by this upcoming bank holiday weekend, we could in fact actually see 20 degrees in a few spots. So at the moment, so, some areas are struggling to get much of 7 or 8. And by the weekend, uh, into the first few days of May, it could be around 20 degrees. We do have a lot of uncertainty, though, as we head into early May, as we'll see in the GFS, GM, East and WF and the ensembles, as we do think there will be warmer air masses moving in, average to above average air masses, but the pressure pattern is still very uncertain, whether we'll be under higher pressure, whether we'll be under lower pressure, or whether we'll be in sort of a mix. And I think what the latest runs are kind of reflecting is a bit of a mix. There will be warmer spells, drier spells, but equally more unsettled spells and maybe even some quite thundery spells as well as we do see low pressure bump into warm humid air that is wafted up from the south so early may could be a really quite mixed bag and we'll have to keep an eye on what happens with that and we'll show you what the latest runs are doing in the second half of the video so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in description so do start on the live radar, you can see it's a very unsettled picture at the moment, a lot of showers around, and some of these even quite wintry, especially over higher routes and in the north. It's because we've got this northerly wind moving in and we've got a low pressure system pulling away out into the North Sea, dragging loads of showers on its back edge. Now, we've got this big area of rain through parts of Wales and southwest England that's going to be moving eastwards and southwards over the coming hours. So London, the southeast, maybe into East Anglia as well, going to be seeing some quite heavy rain through this evening. You can see a bit of snow, actually, over some high routes of Wales, but again, most of this will be falling as cold rain. It'll be really miserable under this rain at the moment. Temperatures struggling in the mid-single digits. To the south, there are some heavy thundery showers still in that instability but a bit more sunshine coming out allowing more convection to take place and we'll be surprised to see some quite big chunky thunderstorms at times here again nothing multi-celled or too widespread but isolated areas of big hail maybe lightning strikes and some gusty winds along with the torrential rain of course further northwards it's a much more uh showery picture no huge areas of rain but loads of balance of showers some quite heavy and wintry even into northern england parts of scotland and over the highlands of scotland to northern scotland a lot of these showers are falling with a wintry nature especially over high routes but even to low-lying areas some of this is showing some greens but i do suspect there will be some sleet and snow and some hail mixing into that maybe even some growl pool as well so really quite cold conditions for the end of april and many areas in the north are seeing some sort of wintry out there. Now the fortunate thing is, as we get into tomorrow, a lot of this will get cut off as we see a ridge of high pressure building, or a very brief ridge of high pressure. So it should cut off the showers, but it will still be pretty cold tomorrow before we see another weather front arriving Wednesday, hopefully pulling that, pushing that cold air away, but temporarily giving us quite miserable conditions in places. So you put on the two meter temperatures, you'll be able to see it is very regional at the moment. Some areas, central southern England, through the Midlands into the northwest, some hints of yellows appearing, so temperatures perhaps getting into the double digits, maybe 10 or 11 degrees, but really quite faint yellows, so nothing anywhere close to sort of mid-teens, which we'd expect this time of year. Most areas more into the blues, especially for parts of Wales and southwest England, really struggling around those mid to high single digits. And that's the same into Scotland as well, over some of the highlands. It's around freezing, but most low-lying areas touching around that sort of five to eight degree mark so it really is cold out there really cold feel like if you see a bit of sunshine it can make it feel a little bit pleasant for a time but if the cloud rolls in wind picks up and any rain or snow starts to fall it will feel like we're back into midwinter once again as again it's all because of this northerly wind you can see out to our east much warmer through europe um but of course that cold air will be on its way for many of these areas as eventually it pulls away into the middle of this week. So do have a look at the UKV now, look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. So you can see that rain in the south and southeast skirting 
through southeastern areas through the next few hours for the rest of this evening and those showers further northwards will eventually start to cut out through this evening but still quite a few wintry showers in places through the rest of the night as said into tomorrow a brief ridge of higher pressure builds in so in many areas much drier tomorrow some cumulus clouds popping up but again that will hold the temperatures in places bedding your sunshine temperatures may get as high as 11 or 12 degrees so still below average but not quite as cold as many areas have been today however we do see a weather front approach for wednesday thicker cloud and some heavier rain perhaps starting to move in in places through wednesday um, maybe in the far southwest seeing some rain but really the heaviest stuff moves in into parts of thursday there so wednesday even though an air mass is the air mass is starting to rise it will still be really cold out there under the thick cloud that's the same to thursday as well air mass is rising but it will still feel chillier in places as we do have cloud uh, and some rain moving in and heavy rain quite widespread free thursday into friday especially through southern and eastern areas but also northern and western areas with fleeting weather fronts coming in here and there Beyond that, as we head into the weekend, things will start to turn a little bit drier temporarily through Saturday, but there will definitely be more rain heading in. Um, again, we'll just have to see how strong the high pressure builds in. Again, you can look at the mean sea level pressure here, and you can see high pressure is building in for the end of the run uh, into the weekend here, but still low pressure trying to bump in from the west, which may halt uh, any drier weather especially further north and westwards and of course we'll have to see that when that comes into the five-day time frame again if we look at the air masses you can see the really cold air is moving in at the moment really quite chilly uh, well below average for the time even the minus 10 ice firm for some areas in the north and eventually in wednesday we start to push that cold air away and into thursday it's properly away but still areas maybe in the north still quite chilly and again, it's that proper warm air mass moves in, giving temperatures perhaps into the mid-high teens by Friday, but of course it all will depend on sunshine amounts, and that's the same into the weekend. The air mass is around average or above average, but it's uncertain how much sunshine we'll see that. Now, if you put in the max temperatures over the course of the next five days, again, you can see through this afternoon, temperatures really struggling around the mid single digits under rain and cloud best temperatures may be 10 to 12 degrees in a few spots across east anglia and the far south coast but many areas in that mid single digit point really really quite cold overnight tonight many areas will drop down towards freezing if not well below freezing some areas minus four minus five degrees as possible uh, anywhere really has got the chance of seeing a frost bar from the, perhaps the far south coast and far southwest um, with a bit more cloud there and slightly milder air masses as we head into Tuesday afternoon, again, slightly milder day, more widely sort of 9 to 12 degrees, especially through England, Wales, Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, still further northwards, much, much colder. And that's just because we're seeing drier weather and a bit more sunshine. But into Wednesday, the air mass does start to get pushed away, and that's why we only see a frost really in the north. But by the afternoon, those temperatures don't rise all too much, simply because we're trapped, trapping that cold air at the surface under all the cloud and drizzly rain. Only six or seven degrees through central southern England, perhaps the Midlands and northern England, maybe 10 or 11 with a bit more drier uh, weather and some sunshine. But equally cold day through Wednesday, even though that air mass is getting pushed away. Now, luckily, into Thursday, that air mass is starting to really drift away. So even though it's still another not particularly pleasant day, the temperatures will be higher, perhaps 12 to 15 degrees, but it probably won't feel all too pleasant when we've got cloud and rain moving in. And that's the same for Friday. Air mass is pretty mild, but you see across northern and eastern areas, we've got some heavy rain moving in, still mid to high single digits. Across the far south and southwest, the air mass is warm enough to see 17 or 18 degrees. But I must emphasise it will be dependent on sunshine amounts, which we won't be able to say exactly what will happen until nearer the time. So perhaps Friday into the weekend could be very warm and could be really quite pleasant in places. But again, all dependent on cloud and rain amounts, something that we'll have to decipher nearer the time. So do you now have a look at the longer range, see what that's showing over the course of the next couple of weeks. Again, you can see the northerly flow coming in at the moment, really quite cold. Uh, eventually that does cut, cut off, and into the weekend we do see high pressure build in, because it's not a huge area of high pressure. So there is the chance we see some trap cloud and a few showers in, in places. Again, we'll have to see that nearer the time on the UKV. Beyond that, we do stay generally under high pressure. High pressure actually gets stronger before into the long range of the first week of May. As I said, could be warm with the southerly flow there, but equally, low pressure starts to move in. 
Because we have quite unsettled conditions and potentially some thundery weather as well as we see low pressure bump into co uh, into warm air masses. So you can see there why I said at the start of the video that there could be very up and down conditions over the coming weeks. Simply because we can see very warm air masses waft off at times. There's going to be very warm air across parts of Spain and southern France. But equally, we have got low pressure running in off the Atlantic that can bump into that, maybe skirt to our south and give some thundery weather and generally unsettled and rainy weather. So we could have quite a bit of warm weather coming up, a good few days of warm weather, but then equally a good few days of more unsettled weather. Now if we see what the, e, uh, the GM is showing, again, northerly flow at the moment, high pressure building in over the coming days into the weekend, could be generally under higher pressure influence, but still low pressure to our east and our southeast could still drag in some showers and some, maybe some thundery weather as well within the warmer air mass. And eventually up until day 10, we do see high pressure build in, but it's not a hugely strong air of high pressure, still with little troughs around. So it probably will be generally drier, generally sunnier, generally warmer, there will be areas of cloud, rain, and showers around. So not all, uh, not all sort of bright and sunny there, but a lot better than what we have at the moment. Again, we'll just have to see these little small features and how they do develop. If we do compare to the ECMWF, again, a northerly flow at the moment, very cold, high pressure built back in for this weekend. Again, not a huge area of high pressure uncertainty with the small little features bumping into that, but into the longer range, very similar to the GM, where we do see high pressure build in, but low pressure squeezing from the Atlantic and low pressure towards Scandinavia, trying to bring in something cooler and more unsettled as well. And you can see the air masses there, we've got warm air wedged between cold air to our northeast that's actually drifting into parts of Scotland and low pressure running in from the west, a big mishmash over the top of the UK. And that could give some quite wild conditions, cold rain in places, areas warm sunshine or even thunderstorms as that all mixes together so as i said a big mix of conditions perhaps into early may we will have to see exactly how it does play out but really anything is on the cards for next week unsettled cold weather warmer dry weather and well, generally warmer thundery weather is all on the table here again it'll be typical we all come out in the middle where we see a bit of rain we see a bit of sunshine we see a bit of warm weather here or there but nothing particularly sustained all over the place perhaps is what we'll see but there is still time for one of these sort of outcomes to firm up and either high pressure or the low pressure to really dominate instead of kind of being in between is what the models are showing at the moment so you finish by looking at the ensembles because it's well reflected at the moment very cold over the next sort of three days or so quite unsettled especially today and then more unsettled into friday where we see some very heavy rain moving in again the air mass is above average or average to above average for the foreseeable future but once again no succinct, succinct signal for dry weather still quite a few precipitation spikes again nothing huge that would symbolize very unsettled stormy jet stream tumbling off the atlantic but equally not uh, low enough to completely disregard it and say high pressure will be in control again just kind of in between and that's how it does play out for the first week of may there generally average to above average a bit of deviation there but nothing huge a couple really warm runs a couple of very cold runs majority hot average to slightly above average but precipitation is still lingering and if you look at the sea level pressure you can see it is a little bit all over the place a little bit of a bump there through the third and fourth but dropping and that could be us this big variable conditions that we see high pressure warm for a couple of days then suddenly cool and unsettled or even thundery a couple of days after again if we look at the two meter temperatures you can see generally though the longer range is warmer, mid to high teens, likely perhaps even 20 degrees in towards the next weekend or the upcoming weekend, sorry, and to the week after. Very likely we'll see 20 degrees somewhere if the current pattern does come off. Uh, but again, will it be sustained and widespread? We can't say for certain at this stage. And if we just compare it to the ECMWF ensembles, very similar. Very cold at the moment, up average to above average for the foreseeable future and areas of precipitation appearing but nothing huge to say it's very unsettled but not dry enough to say it's settled so very similar quite all over the place in terms of pressure patterns and precipitation amounts and for once the only sort of certainty we have is that the temperatures look average to slightly above average pretty con big consistency here from the ensembles just not a lot of consistency with the pressure patterns uh, and that's going to be bring some big big headaches uh, as we don't know um, whether we'll see big low pressure at times or big high pressure or kind of in between which is what we're seeing on the latest models at 
the moment. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you stay tuned as we'll hopefully have some updates on what's going to be happening into the first week of May. And of course, concrete uh, and firm up what is happening through this upcoming bank holiday weekend. As I know a lot of people will want something a bit drier and sunnier, especially after this upcoming week, which is going to be pretty miserable at times. So as I said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.